Right, now, over the years, there have been many titanic battles in the world of motorsport, many great duels. You've had Hunt versus Lauda, you've had Prost versus Senna, you've had the Ford GT40 versus the Ferraris at Le Mans, but my favourite battle of them all is this one. Back in 1977, Audi was developing this four-wheel drive vehicle for the German military, and they had a bit of a thought. They wondered if its four-wheel drive system could be made to work in an ordinary family car. And so, under the cover of darkness at a quarry in a remote corner of Germany, they began secret tests. And straight away, it was obvious that with all four wheels being driven, the family car had an enormous amount of grip. This meant it could go round corners on loose surfaces like that much faster. And that, they reckoned, would make it good at rallying. But there was a problem. What I've got here is the 1979 motor racing rule book. It's the most boring book in the world, but whatever. Here on page 8 million, Article 2 says that in rallying, four-wheel drive cars will not be admitted. Audi, however, had thought about that and dispatched a man to Paris to a meeting of the sport's governing body to try and get the rule changed. He was very clever because he waited for the meeting to be finished, everyone pulling on their hats and coats, and then he went, oh, God, sorry, one more thing. Um, this rule about um, four-wheel drive being banned in rallying, is it OK if we, uh, we get rid of that? And everyone said, well, obviously, he wants to enter his silly little army lorry and something or other, so they all went, yes, yes, whatever, and went home. Three years later, this is what happened. Uno. The four-wheel drive Quattro is all-conquering, and the Audi has been proved master of all conditions. Superior power and traction with a turbocharged four-wheel drive Audi is too much. Bjorn Valdegard has wasted no time in proving the dominance of the four-wheel drive Quattro. Hannu Mikkola has scored a tremendous victory. So Quattros hold all the aces, first, second and third. Audi won the World Championship in 1982 with this very car, actually, and from that moment on, everyone knew that to win in rallying, you had to have four-wheel drive. Well, when I say everyone... <laughs> this was Lancia's answer to the Quattro the two-wheel drive 037. I've got a bit of a soft spot for all old Lanciers, but in this, it's not soft. is everything I was expecting it to be. Pops, bangs, lumpy petrol, a dashboard dominated by this enormous and very well-used ashtray. Completely Italian. <laughs> Honestly, it is dainty as a dandelion seed caught in a summer breeze and as agile as a water boatman. I mean, that was... <laughs> That was just glorious through there. Glorious! 